Okay, guys, let's do Sunday vibes. Let's do Sunday vibes. So, I don't know why I feel drawn to do them. I feel drawn to do them. Let's, um, let's, where's my other deck? Hmm, I guess I'm just going to do this one. Let's, let's do this one. Let's see what we get. It's going to be, it's going to be brief. It's going to be brief. Um, no, it's not in there. See what we get. Sunday vibes. Sunday vibes. We'll be vibing it. I almost switched it up in my head. And you see how the deck switched up real quick? Ugh. So it's going to wear it differently. So we got the Queen of Cups. We have somebody who is in this beautiful energy. Big cup of love. Big old cup of love for somebody. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. What else for Sunday? Um, kind of feeling the boomerang, boomerang effect here. It's either that or I'm getting the movie Boomerang from Whitney Houston and Kevin Costner. Um, ooh, maybe it's I Will Always Love You. And I, I will always love you. Easy. Um, Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups. What's going on here? Queen of Wands. Okay. You are in a whole bunch of different energy, but what this is telling me is that you're on fire. Okay. Um... This is, is talking to me right now. This is all about compassion, happy home life, excitement, adventure, passionate, fire. What else? What else? So it's great energy. You're taking on the energy of, even if you're masculine, you're taking on the energy of queens. You have the yin and the yang, okay, which means you're feeling things, um, emotionally ready for a new adventure, all right, three of cups again, celebration, happy times, um, celebrating with family, friends, children, whatever, whatever scenario is really kind of happening with you guys, okay, or some of you guys are straight up dating, but I'm not really looking at it like that. This is just being... What I like... A, I can't really place what I'm trying to say, but, like, it's all about the energy you're, you're, you're feeding off of. Um, what else? How do I want to put this? It's like... It's, I don't really know how to put it, what I'm feeling, but it's like, this is one individual, okay, that's just happy with the way things are going, and you're taking the energy that's being given to you, and it's like, you're transmuting it, you know, to one, and you got the magician, so you're, you're also about to create something new here, or you're dealing with the masculine, that wants to create something new. You're definitely looking at something differently. For damn sure. Um, this is you having all the tools. Lessons learned. Growing, moving, evolving. Continuing to, to learn. Continuing to manifest. Um, There could be a, a exterior energy like third party, but I don't think so. This could be just like a mother, a family, friends. You, you're celebrating because 
I, I think it's something you already manifested that's about to come into fruition with temperance at the bottom. So it's, it's, whatever this is, is divine too. Um, tell me about the magician. Tell me about the magician real quick. A new job, a new home, new location, a new person, a new friendship. Um, it's whatever you're, you're looking forward to, whatever you're excited about. It's a big congratulations. Okay. And the magician, we have the ten of wands. So whatever it is you're about to do or create is emotionally heavy. So whatever it is you're about to create, it, it, there's no stopping. There's it's, it's work. You have to, to work hard for what it is you're about to create for sure. Whether it's a relationship or a career, a job, a new business. Tell me about the three of cups. But it's, it's most definitely going to pay off. Or you're dealing with the masculine energy and the magician energy that's carrying a lot of weight. But this is, this is your karma. Okay. So something, something's going to work out. So to me, this is probably masculine energy ready to create. It's going to be a lot of work. Okay. But to me... This is still a congratulations. That's that lesson that I was just talking about that you managed to get yourself out of, to move past. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. So this is also having insight, knowledge about something. Um, this is congratulations, job well done too. Okay, because when you get past that, it's awesome. So it's the Ten of Swords. So this woman feels betrayed too. And I say too because, and we got two tens. I say too because it's mutual with these tens on top of, on top of each other, okay? So it's like feeling stabbed in the back too. Um, I can read this if there's a third party. Someone got left out. And she would be the one that was fun sexy somebody working she could be just as fun and sexy but this is somebody that was working out of their lower energy all about fun sex partying that kind of stuff if there's a third party tell me about the queen of cups the queen of cups is more of like a she over the queen of wands would set the foundation there's there's way more stability with her and i'm not talking sag and, and cancer I, i'm talking I love my little Saggies. I got a lot of Sag in my chart. But when it's the Queen of Wands sitting on top of that, there was definitely some type of playing, okay? Because she's the queen that plays. I'm sure they all play, but I hope you guys know where I'm getting at. Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups. She's the one that has the the foundation, Aww. takes care of the children. Seven of Pens, Nine of Pens. See, it's like stability, investing time, where it needs to be invested. She's good. You know, she's she's confident. She's stable. She's productive. She's tender. She's compassionate. She's adventurous, you know. And um, she's about to, to start a new investment or a new job too, which is going to bring her in some pretty pennies if we're going to look at it that way, which where my instinct pulled me, okay? Um, but it could be if it's all one energy and not third party, this is this is her moving towards this this all this weight, which is fine. This is just telling me you got to work hard to play hard, you know? So <clears throat> she may have last, lost her, her spunk, her lack of passion, which would be very important to get back, but I think it's I, I think it's it's gonna come back. All she has to do is forgive this, whatever this is, forgive herself for somebody else, whatever the situation may be, you know, it's part of her lesson. And but this is what energy she's already getting out of because I went backwards. Because this is current. Okay. So she went through this harshness. She let go of the ten of swords, she let go of the heavyweight. 
you know, she she got on her boat and, and she manifested something brand new for her. You leaving? Yeah, you leaving? Um, hold on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I believe they're in the pack. I usually always leave them in the pack, so I love you. Drive safe. See you later, Gators. Thanks for your help, Tommy. Yeah. Bye. So currently she's now investing her time in, in, in something new. She's not she's not staring at the ten of wands, she's not staring at the ten of swords. Because she can she can pretty much get through whatever she needs to get through because she's already done this. She invested her time to fill her piggy bank and took care of the household and whatever else she took care of. Did she lose some passion? Yeah, but to me, not when it comes to work life, home life, this to me is, is saying she lost a little fire, but that's only a matter of time because now she's coming back as that fire adventurous energy. Now that she's about to celebrate, because she learned a hard lesson. She decided to put the weight down. She decided to create, whether it's somebody new, a new career, whatever it is she chose. This is a great big fat congratulations. Work hard, play hard. Okay. Look at that at the bottom of the deck. Victorious. All right. So this, this group that I just read for is still going to have to continue to work hard. Life... Life is not, um, life was not handed to you with a silver spoon. You're, you're creating this, okay? Foundation looks great. There's just a little more to kind of, kind of work through, but it looks fantastic, okay? So keep it up. It's, it's, it's beautiful energy. Work on your passion. Work on adventure. Time to... Time to fantasize, okay? Not to get stuck in an illusion, but sometimes, you know, when you use your imagination to fantasize, it's, it's a good thing. It's not always a negative thing. It just depends on where your focus is at, okay? So, king of water. It says, open your heart and your mind to those around you. It's going to be a trustworthy and heartfelt this, this is trustworthy and heartfelt advice, okay? So it looks like the universe is saying there's possibly this person that now wants to come in to create, and regardless of the weight, because it's attached to your lesson, regardless of feeling stabbed in the back, and I think she already worked through that, okay? But there's always going to be a little something, okay? Kind of trust the situation. Be willing to open your hat. Be willing to move forward. Okay? So, I love you guys. Have a fantastic rest of the day. This is great energy. Okay? This, But this is work hard, play hard energy. This is no slacking. You know? That creation is just about to, to kick off. So, continue to work hard. Maybe an exercise regimen something about you know your stamina too so just um keep nurturing you trust what's coming your way if it's not already present okay i, I think i think you're good i, I just it's just right here because it's like you're just getting that passion back. This is this is forgiving the situation for sure. Because that's a comic lesson, a harsh comic lesson learned. You know, and to me it's like you turn your back, not necessarily from the situation, but to let bygones be bygones with a blank slate type energy. You know, confronting karma, moving past it. To me, this is saying there's that person too. Whatever this is, I think you're gonna be celebrating together. 
And yeah, you're gonna have to work hard to play hard, guys. That's just your life. Okay. You're just like a. It's it's like the. I was gonna say like a working bumblebee, a working bee. Okay, it's just the way it is. Um, tell me about this three of cups, real quick, real quick. The chariot, whatever this is, is it's moving forward. Okay. So, this did fly out the five of swords, but to me, it's it's like um, there's two people walking away. This is not one of those no one wins. It, it's and it was it was reversed, so it's a little regret. But if you ask me, that's that's two people, that's two people leaving behind bullshit or whatever needs to be left behind to, to walk in a new direction to move forward and that is a masculine energy that looks like is moving towards you probably whomever this is in reference to okay you got the moon at the bottom of the deck yeah, every time I see the moon lately man whew that that moon is is changing your life for an amazing outcome and i i see pisces but to me it's linked i mean your life no joke you know your future is right around the corner it's it's here and then you got the seven you're gonna have to most definitely with the world you're about to someone's about to be in the public eye too but it's standing in your belief this is whatever it is you're creating. You gotta stand strong. Remain positive. Power. That song just came to me. I got the power. Dun, dun, dun. Snap. Ooh, not snap. Snap doesn't sing it, but like snap is in that. I got the power. So old school. Might even be MC Hammer. <laughs> so hammer it down. If that's the case, work hard, play hard. I'm telling you. That, that's that's this lifestyle, but um, the gra the satisfaction and the and the gratitude that you must feel, it must be so amazing and overpowering. To be honest with you, you know what I mean? Because it's like you earn every damn penny, so you deserve to play. I love you guys. Have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.